On Tuesday, Plumas County Sheriff's Office shared this, looking for a woman suspected of stealing mail and packages from the Quincy Post Office. Over in Ione, Amador County Sheriff's deputies noticed this vehicle parked in front of a group of mailboxes on Saturday night. But we did find somebody that had mail in their possession. And in Roseville, we have seen a dramatic increase in cluster mailbox theft. Officer Becara says they've had 18 instances in the last three months of people prying open the backs of these communal mailboxes. But but combined with reports from the United States Postal Service, he says that number is probably much greater. We believe it could be up to 40, 50 or 60 cluster mailbox thefts. So what are these criminals going after? It could be due to the stimulus checks hitting mailboxes. Ultimately, what criminals are looking for um, are checks and personal information, something that they can take, wash, take the bank account information. Officer Becara says there are a few things people can do to try to protect themselves from mail theft. For one, check your mail every day. If you go on vacation, put a hold on your mail. He says those who happen to live by a cluster mailbox can help themselves and their neighbors by keeping an eye out for suspicious activity. And the U.S. Postal Service and police say if you witness mail theft or become a victim, the key is to report it to both your local police department and the USPS. A license plate, a vehicle, um, even a description of a person, all of these things are incredibly helpful to law enforcement.